Hi there, Scott here at the Curling Store, and today we're going to talk about replacement heads and wear and tear that we see on the replacement heads. So we'll show you this one here first. Um, as you can see, this pad's very dirty, and it is a worn-out pad. Um, the dirt doesn't make so much of a difference as the texture of the material. So what, allow, what allows you to pull the rock down the ice, pull it farther, or to prevent it from curling is the abrasiveness of the pad. If the pad's not abrasive, you're not actually doing that. Yeah, you can get dirt out of the way, but can you impact the curling stone? I don't think you can. So if you see this pad, you take your fingernails and you just rub it along the pad and you'll hear, um, you should hear some feedback and in the texture, so. If we go to a brand new pad, as you can see, this one is, it hasn't been used on the ice at all. If you listen for that same texture using your fingernails, it should be much more prominent. So a lot of people will clean their pads, like this guy here, a lot of people will clean them. In my opinion, this is my opinion, is that cleaning the pad doesn't actually do anything. Um, it maybe looks a little bit nicer and maybe you get a little bit of the debris off of it that can come off on the ice, but it doesn't make the pad more abrasive. The pad is just progressively gonna wear. So typically people, a lot of people will use their pads far longer than they're good for. And if you're having fun and you're in the club curling, it doesn't matter that much, then who cares? Don't bother changing it, change it once a year. But in my opinion, for a club curler, the standard uh, kind of wear of a curling pad, especially this style, like the Goldline Norway pad, is probably 20 games. Like if you're playing once a week, every season you should be changing it. If you're playing twice a week, I would change it two times a season. There are some new pads that last, I think, a little bit longer than, than this style of pad, like the Hardline Pro Covers. And they're a little bit more difficult to tell when they're worn out because when you start with them, the weave is really tight and you can't feel the abrasiveness as much. But kind of what we're hearing is those will last like one and a half to two times longer than a standard pad. This is a Norway pad, a Balance Plus EQ, or, or the standard nylon Cordura pads. So, you know, the main thing to keep in mind is just look for that abrasiveness. Um, and as long as you feel that in your fingernails, the pad's still good. If you start to feel like your pad's sticking to the ice, it's probably time to go um, to a new pad, especially if you've got a big game coming up that uh, you want to be as effective as you can. So check out more of our videos at thecurlingstore.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel.